Hello again, and welcome back to Let's Play the Xeno Saga series. This is part four. We are on board the Chloroma on a rescue mission. So let's get going. The Reallian that Commander Margulis acquired supposedly possesses incredible powers. That artificial humanoid that looks like a kid? It's gotta be just a rumor. Oh, it's no rumor. shift would end so I could get relieved. Ether Upgrade S. Alright, where do I... Oh, I go this way. So that 100 series Realian is encoded with extensive amounts of research data, left behind by the founder of UTIC? Yes. It's data that could affect the entire fate of mankind. What is the founder's involvement? The founder of UTIC was the same man who advocated the creation of that child, the 100 series observational unit, Joachim Mizrahi. A madman who lost his humanity by immersing himself in science. You look as if you have something to say. Yes, you guessed correctly. He is my ex-husband. Do you want to know what it was like being married to a murderer? Sure. No. In any case, it's certain that the organization is frantically trying to get its hands on that data. I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare. Understood. I'll be leaving tomorrow at 0600 hours. Our hopes rest on you. There's one thing I'd like to clarify. Yes? My instructions are to take the Realian to the Milshin star system. Yet she's registered with the government as your daughter. Why is it that you don't want me to bring her back here? We're currently carrying out an operation based in the area between Milsha and Mictum. An operation vital to the human race. That's why I'm sending her there. That's all I can say right now. 
Besides... This way... I won't have to see her either. Yuri... Misrahi... What a strange woman. supposed to get into battle with these guys or if I'm supposed to avoid them it looks like my footsteps will echo on this floor it would be best not to run in order to avoid alerting the enemy I can walk by holding down the R2 button while I move all right so let's do that who goes there well, that doesn't help we're just gonna run around in circles do not hesitate if you wish to live. Footsteps will alert them if I don't walk, but blowing shit up and they don't seem to notice. Obtain two revive. <laughs> ah, shit. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. That's a good thing I healed.
Formidable. I'd like to avoid fighting if possible. I wonder if I could distract him. I'm going to say yes, there is a way. It's probably right here. There's a switch to operate the crane. Press it? Yes. Okay, looks like that egg is properly distracted. Let's head down the ladder. That's odd. B Block hasn't checked in yet. I'll go check up on them. You two, stay right there. Yes, sir. Is something wrong out there? Shut up and sit down. That must be where she is. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. The Contact Subcommittee sent me here to rescue you. The Contact Subcommittee? Mommy? Stand away from the door. I'm going to break it in. Wait, you can't! They said an alarm would go off if I tried to force it open. Hmm. I guess looks can be deceiving. There should be a master key held somewhere in this block. If you can find it... Alright. I'll be right back. Locked. You need the master key to open it. Alright, so let's go. 
down here since it's the only way to go. There's an enemy hidden in one of these. Obtained Ether Pack S. Obtained Biosphere. Obtained Lead Kit S. Some cash. Ah, oh, yes, there is one. I will show you what a true battle is like.
take it too hard. You didn't stand a chance. Obtained revive. All right, nothing else in here. be the monitoring room. I can see every detail of the base's layout. Can I hit that switch? Apparently not. Alright, well let's do a safe state here just in case this dude kicks our ass. Intruder detected. Commence an attack. I will show you what a true battle is like. save here? I can. Good. Hopefully we have now passed all of the uh, save points where you can't save. Actually, I want to save over a different slot. Use Nash key again. And we got a speed stim. I'm going to assume that increases your speed in battle. And last but not least, let's free her.
let me just confirm. You are the 100 series observational unit prototype, correct? I don't really like that name. Do you have another one? We'll talk later. Let's go. Momo! Daddy calls me Momo. I meant he called me Momo. All right. Let's go, Momo. Okay. If we get into a fight, I will support you from the rear row. I don't want to get in your way up front. Plus, if I'm directly behind you, I can prevent the enemy from pushing you back to the rear row with certain attacks like back toss. Affirmative. But if I guard myself against attacks like back toss, I can prevent that from happening. Don't concern yourself with me. Concentrate on yourself. We you must hurry. Let's go. Two enemy entities, an enhanced cyborg and a child model realien. Our mission is to prevent them from getting past this point. Aggressive measures are prohibited. Attacking the realien is strictly prohibited. These guys are certainly not idiots. The response time is quick. They also changed their routes. Looks like I really had my work cut out for me this time. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. to go back into the area where we got the master key. Shooters went that way. Find them. She's gone. Where'd she go? Um. Are you a military realian? No, an ex-human. Ex-human? A cyborg. An ancient relic. I registered as an organ donor without giving it much thought, and they resurrected me after my death. That infamous Life Recycling Act, right? Yeah. The Species Preservation Act came about thanks to the mess that old law caused. Um, you still haven't told me your name. It's Ziggurat. Eight. Ziggurat? Eight? You're a real human, but your name sounds more like a model number. I know. How about I call you Ziggy instead? Z-I-G-G-Y. -G -G it's short for Ziggurat. Yeah, we're not that stupid. <laughs> Uh, 
I wanted to get you a real one if I could, but I just couldn't get one. Oh no, it's great, Dad. He's so cute. Hey, Dad, what's his name? Did you give him one yet? Nexus 6. <laughs> That's just his model number, isn't it? That makes him sound like a robot. Uh, yeah. I know. How about Nex? It's short for Nexus 6. What do you think? Huh, Dad? Yeah. That's a great name. Really? Come on, Nex. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> I think that kid just did a face plant. Do you think it sounds like a puppy's name? Hmm? No. Call me whatever you want. Okay, then Ziggy it is. You'll sound a lot more human now. Well, looks like they're gone. Terminal? Yes, I need that switch to something. Now we can get through that locked door. Commander, the intruder is after the 100 series. Really? Probably one of the government's dogs. The intruder disappeared from our sensors near D-Block. All units are currently patrolling the area. Surround D-Block. We'll fence them in from both sides. Yes, sir. down cross with an elm tree a sol solemn and powerful emblem come to think of it this place is supposedly an old cathedral of an ancient religion I think they meant to type cathedral but all right this asteroid was once the site of pilgrimages but now that it has been abandoned it's the perfect hiding place for the UTIC organization obtained ether upgrade Z also over here. I think so. And I be wrong. Obtained Ether Panic S. Obtained two Ether Panic.
Oh, I could have done that a lot easier. <laughs> oh well. Sure doesn't look like a simple resurgence of an armed group. What should we do? I don't know. We won't be able to stay here much longer. A large number of soldiers are making their way over here. At this rate, this room will be filled with over a hundred soldiers in eight minutes. Recon realians are pretty handy. I guess rushing them is out of the question. Even for you? Not even a cyborg can take on three eggs units. I'd be shot to pieces. What if the eggs units couldn't use their sensors? Well, it would probably help. But why? I can reduce their ability to some extent. How? The Hilbert effect. Using inverted Hilbert wavelengths, I can create cross-interference that automatically shuts down the eggs d triple s enemy sensor system. That should take out most of their external sensors. The Hilbert effect? It's an anti-gnosis materialization system. Normally, it's spread out over a wide range via an amplifier installed on board a spacecraft. But I can create the effect by myself in small areas like this. That might work. All right, go ahead. Okay. All right, here I go. The Hilbert effect. So this is our secret weapon against the Gnosis. interference. Do you feel the effects too? I'm fine. I'm supposed to have a much higher capacity than them. Rest a bit. I'll take care of this. I'm okay. I can still help out. My nano repair function's still operational. the enemy closely and react quickly.
mystic powers. Ready to hear it? Thank you. 
big enough for us. Biosphere, which see those items, they recover all of your allies' HP and each EP, but I believe you can only use those at a safe point. Obtained eight Medkit S. Skill recharge, acquire new skill bodyguard, increase strength defense when Lona was behind. I think I want this. Recharge, acquire new skill recharge, hit point recovery. Yes, I'll take that as well. Can't do anything else there, don't have enough points. Oh, not enough points to evolve anything. Okay. But that's alright. Now here are tech attacks. You can use your uh, tech points to increase the speed at which you can use these attacks. So that instead of having to hit triangle twice, and then, uh, well, instead of needing six AP to use one of these attacks, you can only you, you can use four AP to use one of these attacks. But what I tend to do is wait and hoard these points till near the end of the game until these characters have attacks that will atta that will hit all enemies and then I tend to pour all of my T points into those attacks which helps for late game grinding if I haven't already mentioned that which I think I might have the other thing you can use T points on if I can find it is you can use those same T points to increase some of your character stats which here I'm not going to do it, but I could use 54 T coins to give Ziggy two more EP. Or I could use 44 E coins to give him one ether attack. But I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I will likely hoard those points until the end. Another save point. Let's do a save state just in case. Who 
who's there? I'm gonna do my best. Boss fight. Okay, why can't 
I do any damage to it. Still got 724 hit points. You know what? I really hate to do this. However, we are going to go back and uh, do this again. And I'm going to show you why. <laughs> At least, I think I can make this a little bit easier on myself. Okay, so I already used the points. Now, 
you can set a certain number of skills. And I, even though I learned these two skills, I didn't set them. And so this one in particular, Bodyguard, would have been very useful in that fight. And in Lolo, I don't think I can set anything. Nope. Otherwise, we'd be in that, that fight into the middle of next year. But you can skip cutscenes in this game, so we'll just skip the cutscene and get right back to the fight. I'm not a tool that you can just use! Take this! <laughs> Now, there's those extra skills. So this one you can only use with multiples behind you, so let's use that now. Let's start straight away. Right Regular attempts <laughs> zero damage, so who the hell knows? Mystic powers! Grant me a miracle! <laughs> Alright, let's see what this does. There we go. Yeah. Let's go!
what's wrong. Is that all you got? there one of the coolest video game antagonists ever is something wrong no it's nothing momo find a trade column and short jump us out of here I want to get back on our return path, once we shake off the pursuit. Okay. This girl's cooking be any good. But, Captain, you're stuffing your face. Ah, shut up. Don't disturb a man when he's eating. Water. Sure. You do quite a lot. Really? This is pretty typical for me back home. I have my no good brother to thank for that. He doesn't do a thing all day except sit around and read books. <laughs> well, there's no one on this ship that has any of your skills. That's a shame. I guess that's what happens when you have an entirely male crew. You got that right. Normally, there's not even a hint of estrogen on this ship, so you can forget about having a good meal. Who usually does the cooking around here? We take turns. Not that it matters, because the cooking's always bad. There is one person on board who does nothing but eat. Um... What's that? Water! Sure. Chief, um... Can I have some water too? Oh, sorry. I hadn't noticed. Hadn't noticed? Poor Alan. Legit thirsty, he can't get the drink. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, we certainly can't leave Cosmos to her own devices, can we? She's functioning independently. <sighs> and to think, we were supposed to get vacation time once we completed the startup experiment. Turned her over to the second division. <laughs> You're starting to sound a lot like the captain. There's no use crying over spilled milk, you know. The first thing we need to do is to contact headquarters and ask for instructions. So I guess we're stuck with these guys for a little longer. Huh? What do you mean? Well, 
I got a little suspicious, so I checked this ship's registry. Did you know that these guys are with the Kukai Foundation? That place is bad news. I heard a rumor that it's just crawling with mutants. Hey, that's kind of a racist comment. Listen, Alan. Sure, it's a well-known fact. The Kukai Foundation was established by the Milshin government as a specialized military group. But they only held that status until the completion of the post-war proceedings. Although, they haven't gotten around to demilitarizing quite yet. They're being run like any other valid foundation nowadays. You know, as a matter of fact, their current director received a lot of praise for taking in and protecting victims in the days before the Species Preservation Act. He's really to be commended. Now, what was his name? Gainen Kukai. Oh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I just dropped in to see if there was anything I could help out with. Oh, thanks. We could use some help drying the dishes. Sure thing. Phew, that's everything. Yep. Huh, what's this? Oh, that's for the commander. Come to think of it, he didn't join us for dinner, did he? No, and I even called him. Oh well, I'll just heat it up and take it to him. Well, how about we call it a day? Good idea. Oh. Did you forget something? No, but where did Cosmos go? Oh, Cosmos? She's being tuned in her service module down in the hangar. It'll probably take a few more hours. <laughs> oh, did you want to go down and talk to her? I'm sure she'd like that. Oh, really? Of course. Thanks. See you later. Bye. What's the matter? Aren't you going to take the curry to the commander? It'll get cold if you don't hurry. All right, so we are going to look for a save point. And that'll be the end of this part. Looks like I ate a bit too much. It's not every day you get to eat curry that bad. That's kind of rough. Hey, welcome. What'll it be? You guys are lucky. We got some good stuff in today. It's the passport for the card game, then it comes with a starter set. It's a great deal. You hardly ever come across these things nowadays. Oh, don't worry about the price. Call it a freebie. Obtain card passport. There's an email for Xi'an. Uh, the EVS, the Environmental Simulator. I'm not going to read all this stuff, but basically what it does, it's just something that lets you go back to dungeons you've already visited in the game. That is all this is telling you. And I believe you access that from a save point. The EVS environmental simulator is very handy. You can revisit places you've been to before. Yeah, it's possible to get items you forgot by using the EVS too. That's right. Apparently there are some items that are beneficial to collect, which means that it's better to take a roundabout way around the map. It's good to explore the surrounding area even when you have a destination in mind. Wouldn't it be nice to have the time to take the scenic route? I 
think I know where the commander is, but I am trying to find a save point. This is where you can access the EVS, I believe. Or not. Alright, well, can I save here? No, I can't, so... We're gonna use a save point, uh, we're gonna use a save state here, and we're gonna call it quits. So, we need a little more progress. Ziggy rescued Lomo, they made an escape. Now we have a very important mission of delivering dinner to the commander, which we'll do in the next part. So until then, take care.